Well, hello everybody, how's it going? Just got back from the Amish. I was gonna go up and uh, get a couple more pieces of wood. And uh, they're out for right now. And I'll continue that conversation on in a minute. Um, my fan came in for my lawnmower. So I put that on already. So here that is. Open up the old seat. So there's the fan there. When you turn the key on, she's on. Or I can turn it off. If I want to, I can shut her off. And then these stay on. Or I can just turn this one back on. So that'll help keep everything a little bit cooler. And I had a yellow piece of metal that I had hooked to this as a strap so it wouldn't vibrate. And I'm looking for it, and I, I cut it down. It clears the seat, too, so I'm okay here. I got plenty of room there. I checked that. I didn't want to lean back in and, you know, lean back and hit it. So, But I had that yellow strip of aluminum. I was going to use it outside. Because what I have is that gap uh, that goes around the sewer pipe. You know, the pipe stops here, then the one stops on the other side of the pipe. And I was going to screw that aluminum across it, you know, to keep everything straight. doesn't really matter. I just wanted to do it just for the hell of it. But, yeah, it's hot today. It's hot and it's humid. And it sucks. Uh, well, it's 81 in here, but it feels hotter. But I've been looking around for that piece of freaking aluminum... I mean, it's about as wide as this blade, and probably about 10 inches long. I've scoured this place. I have no idea where the hell it was. The last place I used it was right here, because I drilled some extra mounting holes in it. And that's all I remember, you know? I've been cleaning out some of this stuff, you know? But anyways, so there goes that idea. And... While I was at the Amish, um, they had a guy picking up a trailer. Um, it's actually a camp. $13,000. Wait till you see this. I only got a couple still pictures of it. But I'll explain to you how this works. Because this guy pulls in with a flatbed trailer. It looks about as big as my, my car lift. About that big. To pick up a shed from my door... So back to this door. All right. So he pulls in to pick up a shed this freaking long. I'm going, what the freaking hell? I said, my goddamn thing doesn't even look big enough to haul my car. Well, I sound like an idiot after that one. But, so this is cool. This is really cool. And I've never seen a trailer like this. So, yes, here we come with Andy's cartoon drawing. So here's the back of his truck with his wheel. The trailer came out, and then it's got the two dual axle wheels on it. And that's basically it. And it hooks onto his trailer hitch here. So there it is. What's cool is it's got a ram here. And the ram, and this deck tilts up. So they come up to the shed, and they tilt this, they tilt this ram up like this. And now the cylinder here, which I didn't see, pushes the whole trailer back. The truck's in park. The truck doesn't move. It pushes underneath the shed. I'll call it a shed instead of a camp. You'll see it. It pushes it underneath. And uh, it's amazing. And the, the harder they push, they tip it up more so the back of the shed will dig in to hold it. And then they, they tip the shed down. And then they pull it forward a little bit, so there's a, there's like a cradle right here in the front of it. So by the time the shed's all sitting on the trailer, so here it is. And um, now what's really freaking cool is, in between these two wheels, and I'll make it bigger, in between these two wheels, there's another set of wheels that go the opposite way. They can lower these wheels down and swing that shed left to right. I'm like, holy shit. So, so they, they back in, they grab the shed, and if they got to move the shed, 
they just slide it over like that. They put the wheels down, then they could swing the shed back and forth. I'm like, that is cool shit. But I, I snuck some pictures without anybody seeing me. So you can see it. I mean, I took three pictures, and uh, it's a really cool green color. You can see it in different stages, but I couldn't really, you know, I really couldn't film there. I should have asked them if they minded, but, you know, I just snuck some pictures. But, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, when I put the pictures up, what I'll do is I'll, I'll edit the pictures and I'll like leave like the distant shots, but then I'll I'll zoom in on them. I kind of crop them in closer so you can see a better view of what I'm talking about. So I got more stories to go. All right, now back to the wood. Okay, the metal piece I was telling you about, I wanted to put it between this gap and this gap. See how this this is loose and this is loose. That would have bridged the gap right across here. So that would have made it solid like one piece. But what I'm, what I'm gonna be doing is, um, I'm gonna frame these out like this. So these are gonna be framed out even with the wall. So the wall's gonna be screwed to here, so it's gonna be like half inch. And it'll all be hidden behind the wall, but I'm gonna bring this out, you know, an inch. Um, so they're going to be like box framed in. And then I'm going to go over the front of it with this gold screen that looks like this. So that way, um, it'll have air all the time. So this would never freeze. So since the room and the bathroom is always going to be closed, and it's going to be heated all the time. Air will be able to pass, you know, through the wall in there and keep it warm. So that's my way of making sure the pipes aren't freezing. And these are going to be on the inside wall anyways, and this is going to be all insulated behind it. So I wanted to keep these further into the room as I can get them. And uh, for some reason, did it get in there again? No, it didn't. All right. I had water in there, and we just had a wicked downpour, and I realized I didn't have this goddamn cap tight. I keep forgetting to push this cap down tight. But look at how the grass is growing. It's filled in perfectly here. And then it looks like my haircut right here. So, yeah, some grass he took, some didn't. It's freaking weird. Okay, so that covers that. Yes, I know. You want me to say it again? Yeah, I'm still waiting to get concrete. There, I said it again. All right, so back to this blacktop shit that I bought 30 bags of. And you know, you've seen the pictures. You've seen the pictures of uh, when that car turned around, they tore it all up. So I called QTR, or QRT, whatever the hell the name of that shit is, and talked to the lady. And it's like, are you ignoring me? Are you going to get back to me or what? I said, what the hell's going on here? So I called today. And I said, well, you know, are, are you trying to avoid me or something? Because I tell you right now, I'm... You know, I'm home all the time. I got all day long to play in this phone. So, um, yeah, so she says, well, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that, blah, 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 this. I said, you know, something's wrong with the world nowadays. I said, nobody wants to freaking take responsibility on their shit. You know, I said, I may have gotten a bad batch. I said, I know how to put this shit down. I've tamped it, I've rolled it, I've sang and danced on it, I've had oil delivery trucks backing over it, not a goddamn problem, you know? I said, there's a limited lifetime warranty on this shit. I said, why offer a lifetime warranty on it if you don't back it up? So she says, well, I'm gonna have to have, you know, one of our guys come out and, and look at it and see what's going on with it. And I'm like, he'll give you a call Blah, 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 stroker, stroker. So I'm like, yeah, okay. At the same time, I got a return call from Lowe's customer service. And I talked to Lowe's customer service. I'm like, look it. Here's the freaking deal. And I put the whole spiel out again. Tell them this, that. Nobody wants to take credit for it. This is bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. You know. And, of course, you know, like people say, 
Right, Dennis? The squeaky wheel gets the grease. So they are refunding me for my 30 bags of blacktop I bought off of them, which works out to be, with tax, roughly around 450 450 bucks, give or take something. That's roughly it. Within 24 hours. So I got that message. I'll put it right here if you can read it. So that's good news. And uh, that's about it. That's about all that's been going on. Um, yeah, I, uh, well, you know, I'm low income and I, I qualify for HEAP, the Low Income Energy Assistance Program, because I don't make shit for money and all my money goes to my mortgage and debt collectors and stuff or whatever. So we had um, the New York State Home Energy, the people, they come up and they, they look and if your refrigerator is an old piece of junk, they replace it, which mine isn't. I just replaced it a year or two ago, which sucks. They replace your water heater if it's bad. And I just replaced my freaking water heater. You know what I mean? And then they look at your furnace. And mine, look, of course, my furnace looks good. I'm like, God damn it. I got to stop doing this maintenance so much on stuff, you know? So basically, um, you know, they look at stupid shit. I said, yeah, it's cold around the windows. They get frosted over. There's something wrong with them. I don't know if it's junk or what. And then uh, I said, I feel cold air coming around the windows. I think when they put them in, the windows in, they didn't spray foam around the window crack, you know, and I'm getting cold air coming in from there. I said, it's hotter than hell in the summer, and, you know, the heat comes through, blah, blah, blah. So basically it sounds like they're going to do some baby petty things that I could probably do myself in an hour. So, so be it. I don't care. Then I ain't going to do it. But that's all that's been going on. Um, yeah, I hate it when companies, you know, you get a shit product and then everybody plays dumb and nobody wants to know anything about it. You know? But, uh, yeah, I just... I just picked up a 12-pack can of cat food from the dollar store. I see the corner of the box a little crushed. Didn't think anything of it. It's 10 bucks. It used to be like 5.89 or six. But we'll just say six bucks. I get it home. I open up the box. One can is just destroyed, popped open, and there's like cat food sauce all over the box. So I'll be taking that back. You know, for ten dollars for the thing of cat food. Yep. So, you know, maybe I can get a free ten pack. I don't know. I'll take anything free. So that is uh, now you're up to date on everything that's been going on. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But it's hot today. Maybe now I'll have a little bit of time to get back onto this and do some finishing touches on it. But you see there's more stuff disappeared in here. But um, I took the big blue tank in the house. I took the piece of pecs in the house. I can't find the shutoff valve and the T. I I do have T's here. But these are for the water heater. To come in and out of the water heater. I can't use them. Oh, I can use them, but I don't want to use them. So, I can't let this fall over. And that baby's running up there. Boy, that really pisses me off that I can't find that little strip of aluminum I was going to use. Can't believe it. No bites on this yet. Well, actually, I did have a bite on it. People ask you, is this still for sale? Yes. And then they don't reply. It's like, what the hell? Did you just want to know if I still have it or something? Or did you want to come up and you know, look at it or hug it? Or, I don't you fucking these People are freaking stupid. But just like they say on Facebook Marketplace, you get all these losers at home, they dream about owning something, and they call you in and bother you about it and jew you down before you even look at it, and then they never show up. You know? I just can't believe where I misplaced that piece of one inch by 10 inch, and it's bright orange. How the hell can I misplace that? Boy, it's kind of burning my ass. 
Oh, never mind. I just farted. That wasn't that. Anyways, that's it for today. I'm done farting around. I got uh, nothing else to do. I did house cleaning today. I vacuumed, cleaned up. And uh, that's about it. Oh, Jomo, the homo is up there still waving away. You know, sometimes he's a little on the cold start. Let me turn it down a little bit. I figure if I have him wave slower, it'll last a little bit longer. But anyway, I noticed this today. This looks kind of cool. My propane tank is. Look how fuzzy this is. This is fuzzy. Oh, the spider right there. See him? The spider. We can tease him. Oh, look, look, look. Look, spider, there's a bug on you. Look, right there. Get him. I wonder if I can tease that guy. Let's tease a spider. I need something to stick to tease him with. To let him think something's in his net. Because he looks like he's ready to pounce. Let's see if we can make him fall for it. Come on. He's like, nope, I'll screw you with that. All right, he didn't fall for it. All right, everybody. I'm done playing with spiders. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Goodbye.